D-E-A-D, -E dead. No electrical activity in the heart, no pumping, no cardiac output, no light. Asystole, I remember as assist totally, because your patient is technically dead. It's also called cardiac standstill, meaning no action and no contraction in the heart. Now, the medical definition of asystole is a cardiac arrest rhythm with no electrical activity in the heart. As a result, the heart stops beating and there is a total standstill on the EKG monitor. All right, class, give me a D. D. Give me an E-A-D. E-A-D. What does that spell? Dead. Woo! All right, guys, that's a little bit morbid, but dead. We're talking no electrical activity in the heart, no pumping, no cardiac output, and no light. All right, guys, so what does asystole look like? Well, if there's no electrical conduction, then obviously there's no rate, there's no rhythm, there's no P wave, no QRS, and no PR interval. No nothing. Now the causes can be many, but very simply it comes from low oxygen, usually caused by profound cardiac damage, usually resulting after a trauma or a lethal cardiac rhythm like VTAC, VFib, or even STEMI. Now the signs and symptoms are very simple. The client is dead. So the client's gonna be unconscious, without a pulse, no blood pressure, no heart rate. So what are we gonna do about it? So priority nursing interventions, obviously start CPR, call a code, grab a crash cart, or it sounds something like this. Start CPR, you call a code, you grab a crash cart, call my mother, ah! Okay, after we do all that stuff, we gotta get IV access and deliver ACLS, Advanced Cardiac Life Support Drugs. Now, the most popular ACLS drug is epi, also called epinephrine, which stimulates the heart rate. The recommended dose is one milligram IV, or IO, pushed every three to five minutes. Next is vasopressin, which squeezes the blood pressure, increasing blood to the heart by vasoconstricting, kind of like squeezing a toothpaste bottle. But big caution, stop what you're doing right now and listen close to this one thing. Defibrillation will not work in a systole because any big shock needs an existing electrical rhythm to piggyback off of. So guys, please remember, in defibrillation, or really any shock, you're not shocking the patient. You're really just shocking that existing electrical rhythm in the heart. My goodness, how shocking. So the big takeaway here, if there's no existing rhythm, then you cannot shock the patient. So we don't shock asystole.